This is a demonstration of a new tool in GeoSketch 4.0 for modifying the geometry of a pitched roof structure. I'll edit the group of this gable roof and I'll select all of the faces and if I look at the roof attributes each piece of geometry is tagged with an attribute describing what it is, whether it's a roof, an eave, a wall, fascia, or a ridge. The new tool takes advantage of this information as you move the geometry. So for example, if I select a roof, a roof section, I can move the cursor up and down to move the roof to a higher uh, or lower uh, height. And it moves not only the roof sections, but the connected fascia and eave as well. If I put the cursor on a wall at the end, it will move the wall and the connected fascia and eave. And the most important feature here is the ability to move a ridge and change the slope of the roof. I've got this ridge and move it up and down. It's changing the slope of the roof and it's also recalculating the intersection of these other roof sections such that it does not generate a non-planar polygon and end up with a lot of extra edges. And there's an also another option. If I hold down the shift key and select a ridge, then it will move all of the ridges that are connected and change the slope of all of the roof sections. There is one bug with this one known bug with this tool. If I build a simple uh, gable roof and I use it to move the wall along the side, it will I need to edit the component first or edit the group. And if I move this wall, it will move it correctly and change the the, the uh, height of the eave to maintain the slope. So that's useful if you have a, a non-symmetrical roof. But once you release the cursor, if you go to move that wall again, it does not move correctly. That's because when SketchUp recalculates the topology, sometimes it generates an extra polygon in there that uh, disrupts the, the topology. But you can still move other faces, so as long as you get it in the place that you want the first time, there shouldn't be a problem. And this doesn't always happen, but it does seem to happen in quite a few cases. There's another feature of this tool. It will work on geometry other than pitched roof structures. For example, if you build a parapet roof, it will uh, move the parapet up and down as well. I can also build some sort of irregular polygon. Then I can use the offset tool to offset it. And if I use that tool on the center face, it will basically create a sloped wall shape. And this tool works similar to the push-pull tool, except that it does not create new edges. So if I move a face that has edges that aren't perpendicular to the face, it doesn't create new edges. It'll just stretch those existing edges to accommodate the new location of the face. So sometimes that's a behavior that you desire. So as an example of using that last option, I have a model of the fort at St. Augustine in Florida. And I've already built a polygon that is the outline of the top edge of that sloped wall fort. So I'll use the offset tool to offset that polygon out to the base edge, which is a little bit wider. Then I use that pitch push pull tool to raise the center section up and I get the sloping walls of that fort. And then if I use the texturing menu to apply a nadir texture to all of those faces, I get that and I see the parapet walls so I can use the offset tool again to create those parapet walls. And then I can use just the standard push-pull tool to move the center part down to get that parapet. So that completes the demonstration of the new pitched push-pull tool.